And I think that the comments made by my Republican colleagues <coughs> are outrageous, beneath the dignity of the job that they hold, beneath the dignity of the respect that we would like Congress to command. How dare they say such a thing? How dare they? Uh, well, I don't even go into the whole thing. I can't even begin. Probably as we sit here, running caricatures of me and, and uh, Georgia once again, we're in over $100 million of vitriolic things that they say that resulted in calls to my home constantly, threats in front of my grandchildren, uh, I mean, really predicated on their comments and their paid ads. So this sick individual does something despicable, and it was horrible what he did, hateful. But for them to all of a sudden be sanctimonious, as if they don't never seen such a thing before. And I don't even want to go into the President of the United States, but in terms of some of the language that he has used. So again, I, I, let's go there another day. But since you asked, how could they possibly say such a thing? First of all, the timing of it all. Everybody is so sad, so concerned, so coming together. And for them, one of these days, I don't know if I can, I, and I was hacked. We were all hacked for it last fall. And, but I was told I was hacked when I got on a plane in Florida to come to back to, Cal to go back to California. And so I couldn't do anything. You know, you get on the plane, to close the door, turn off your phone. So when I get back to California, I have scores of horrible, disgusting, yucky messages. A lot of them toward me, a lot of them toward Hillary Clinton, a lot of them toward Barack Obama. And using language that is from some of the messages that they have put out. So, you know, let us all take a step back, examine our own conscience, see what uh, um, negative attitudes we can all fail. But the sanctimony of it all, really, really, what do you think? Don't you think it's strange? Don't you think it's strange that instead, pray, be prayerful about all of this, that they would start saying, Let's have this conversation another day, okay? I think you just have one more. Colin Kaepernick also did not go looking for a protest. It came to him. He was asked to stand for the national anthem. You do not have to stand for the national anthem, and even if it was a rule that you did, is that Colin Kaepernick injecting politics into the NFL? No, that's the NFL injecting politics by playing the national anthem and putting pressure on you to stand for it in the first place. Now, I must break you. Oh, Ima, wait.
us appreciate yeah, it thanks for having me on Jay. i want to get to the washington post story in a second but first i want to get your reaction uh to this shooting today you're on the democratic baseball team um tell me what this day has been like for you awful you know just awful i play on the democratic side you get up early you go to practice and you never think that something like this could happen uh, you know we see police cars out there from time to time and you know we always joke like you know who would you know come attack us uh, this early in the morning and now you see uh, why they're there. So we're all just hopeful that, uh, you know, the majority whip his staff and the officers uh, recover and that tomorrow night we can come together uh, for a good cause and hopefully, you know, this can be a bridge to more working together in the future. The shooter's Facebook feed was full of a lot of anti-Republican rhetoric, anti-Trump rhetoric, much of it reposted. He wrote, Trump is a traitor. Trump has destroyed our democracy. It's time to destroy Trump and company. Also, Trump is guilty and should go to prison for treason. To be Frank, it's the kind of thing you might see on poster boards at a resistance rally. Um, do you worry that the left has gone too far in its rhetoric? Well, I, I worry that anyone would think that the way to express themselves would be through violence. And, you know, the, the beauty of this country is, you know, our protections of speech. Uh, and, you know, sometimes uh, we see from time to time on both sides, uh, it turns into violence. And it should be roundly condemned, whoever the person is, whether they're a Republican, a Democrat, or an Independent. Uh, it's never... Uh, it never should be tolerated to you know, move uh, your actions from a belief to violence.